Hey y'all, it's Linda. Welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I am going to be doing another Will I Buy It? So this was started by Samantha March here on YouTube. All of her info, as always, is gonna be linked in the description box down below. But for this, I'm gonna take a look at all of the new releases coming out. I take a look through different Instagram accounts and I'm gonna let you know whether or not it's piquing my interest. Now, this doesn't mean if I say it piques my interest, I'm buying everything, but I have found out that it also doesn't mean that if I say I'm really not interested in it, I might still buy it because um, I'm a lemming. But if you are new here, hi, my name is Linda and I am a cruelty-free beauty YouTuber and I always wanna help you decide whether or not makeup, skincare, hair care products are worth your money, whether they are drugstore priced or luxury high-end, I just want you to spend your money wisely. So if you're into that, please consider hitting that subscribe button and becoming a part of the Rockstar fam. I would love to have you here or, you know, just give this video a thumbs up if at any point you're getting any good info from it. I am going to scooch over and we are going to place pictures here because I don't yet have any of these items. So the last time I did one of these videos was April 14th. So I'm not scrolling back all the way to April. I'm gonna start in June and just go over the things. So a lot of this is gonna be available now. Most of it probably is gonna be available now, but I still wanna give you my thoughts on it. All right, here's one that has been destroying me a little bit. This available now, actually it was available on June 3rd, is the Patrick Ta Major Dimension Eyeshadow Palette. Oh my God. So there are two cream bases to prime your lids, additional 12 shades in a variety of warm and cool tones. There's mattes, metallic, just beautiful, even glistening pearl toppers. This looks so beautiful to me. And I have to be honest, I've seen amazing reviews on it, but it's 68 effing dollars, $68 for one eyeshadow palette. I can't get down with that. I want it so badly, but I just can't make myself vomit out the cash of $68 for one eyeshadow palette. Am I off here? Like, isn't that price kind of freaking extreme? Let me know. I mean, I just, ugh, I don't know. It's, it's driving me crazy, but it's so beautiful. So if there's a sale at some point, this might be one I snag down the road, but I just, I can't fathom paying $68 for this. No. All right, this one came out on June 7th. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills and Norvina Lilac and Lavender Future and Fantasy Volume 5. I don't know what this is called. Anyway, it's just, um, no. No, 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 yet. This, I, I hate this. <laughs> I feel like that's so dramatic, but this is just not for me at all. If you like purple shadows, this might be the thing for you. But like, oh my God, I, first of all, I just want to take this. Somebody I'm sure has done this already I, in Photoshop or something. I just want to rearrange this palette. Okay. I feel like they just went like purple, gold, green, glitter. Nah, la, la. No, like calm, calm down a little bit. Calm down. Like give us lines of a color story. You know, what? I'm going to find an example. Okay. So this is the Wahala 2 palette by Juvia's Place. And you'll see it's like all blues in one row, but they're all different tones of blue, all greens in one row, purples and pinks in one row. Like give this some cohesion. The fact that it is so all over the place, if that's overwhelming to me, somebody who's really, really into makeup, I can't imagine someone just walking by this and picking it up and knowing what to do with it. I just, no, no. Also, this one is $60. Why are eyeshadow palettes getting so damn expensive? Now, granted, this one does have five, 25 shadows in it. That's a big palette. That's a big boy palette. I get it, but like, oof, no, nope, no thank you. All right, I will admit this one tugged at my heartstrings a little bit. Becca came out with one last launch and this is their Shimmering Skin Perfector in High Angel. I absolutely love the formula of Becca's Shimmering Skin Perfector Highlighters. I love the formula. They melt into the skin beautifully. They don't leave flakes all over your face. They're just gorgeous. This is $38, the same with the rest of their highlighters, but it looks like they partnered for this with the Trevor Project in support of the LGBTQIA community and their continued commitment to mental wellness. The brand is honored to donate $50,000. That makes me happy. That's not just another brand being performative. They are putting their money where their mouth is. I like it. Ugh. But if I'm being honest with myself, I do not need another highlighter. Ooh, what am I saying? I'm gonna, you know what? I'm gonna eat those words probably in like a week when I buy another highlighter. Let's be honest here. But this one, 
I think it's just, it has some beautiful pink undertones. They said it's inspired by their shade Opal. It has very pink undertones. I don't think it would work very well on my skin tone, which is a light to medium skin tone. It just, I, hmm, I'm passing on it. I'm passing on it. I'm passing. Am I passing? I'm passing on it. Don't tempt me. All right, here's another one that is already out and I have somehow passed this by and I thought I was gonna be cool and be able to fully pass it by and now I'm not so sure, okay? So this is the Melt Brunette palette. This is a neutral ass palette, okay? There are some warm tones in there but it's mostly cool toned neutrals. I genuinely looked at this when it came out and I was like, no, nope, not a need, thank God, because I don't wanna spend any more money on Melt. Yes, I do, I wanna spend all my money on Melt. I was not into this until I saw Heather Austin's review of this and now I feel like I need it. I feel like I need it. It's so pretty and it's like, ugh, I don't know. I don't have many cool tone palettes. I mainly only have one, which is the Melt Mary Jane palette. And I thought that this was gonna be super similar to it, but they're pretty different. The Mary Jane palette is much more cool toned even. This is somewhere leaning towards neutral almost but it's very pretty. Do I need it? No. Do I want it? I might. Am I gonna get it? <sighs> to be determined. <laughs> so this one kind of fascinates me. This isn't so much a product, but a brand launch. This is Uma by Sharon C. So it's Uma Beauty. It's like the sister brand of them, but they're going to be online and in over 3,000 Walmart stores. Now, I've never tried Uma Beauty, but I've heard so many good things about them. So if this is at like a slightly lower price point, and it looks like everything is vegan, which is fantastic. Yeah, the price point is much lower. Like you've got a cleansing oil for $15. You've got a serum for $18, foundation for $14.99. The prices are really beautiful. And I really feel like this is something I wanna try. So I'm really curious if this is in my local Walmart, I might grab it. Let me know if you all would be interested in a video on that, but I'm very curious about this. Okay, so this is coming out on Friday. I think today, today that you're watching this video, this is the ColourPop Lush Life Collection. And this is all about tropical vibes, tropical feels. So there's a 12 pan eyeshadow palette for 18, Lux glosses at $8 each, Cheek Dew Serums for $7 each and Cream Gel Liners for $7 each. I am hella interested in that palette. I think this color story is beautiful and bold and metallic and bright. And this is what I think of when I think of summer. Like there, this is just, it's so tropical. I wanna be on a beach somewhere with like a coconut drink in my hand doing, you know, the, oh, oh it's a luau. A lu I'm doing the luau. What are you doing? The luau. Oh, oh yeah. Luau. Right? It's called the Hula. Luau. That's what comes to mind when I think of this collection and that palette really is beautiful. I'm gonna try to pass it up. I'm trying to be on a low buy, but damn it, ColourPop. After that Barbie palette came out and I was like, yes, this is what their formula can be. Now I wanna try more. I'm back on the ColourPop train. Mm. What are you all thinking of this collection? Because I'm really curious. So this one comes out June 23rd. <sighs> This is the uh, Dose of Colors and Donald Duck and Daisy Duck collection. Could this be more effing boring? This is horrible. Okay, look, look, Donald Duck wears yellow and blue. There is neither yellow nor blue in this collection, okay? Just th nothing about that. What? They just wanted to slap some ducks on a packaging. This is horrible like I'm sorry I don't have any other words for it there's nothing about this that is appealing to me whatsoever and that palette that's eyeshadow and bronzer palette is 40 bucks almost it is $40 for six eyeshadows and one bronzer no 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 that's oh god I hate this I hate it I'm scrolling past it I hate it so here's another one that I thought I was going to want and I wound up passing on it and that is the Sydney Grace and Temptalia collection so here's the thing I've been following Temptalia's beauty blog for so many years I think that she is the pinnacle like when I want swatches or good reviews in-depth reviews I go immediately to her blog after all this time because she is amazing these look absolutely beautiful and I've heard such good things about Sydney Grace's quality. I still have never tried them, but I did wind up passing on these. I do love, absolutely love that every single palette came in a light and a deep. I adore that. I think that's brilliant. 
It was a lot for me. It was a lot for me and it's a lot of shimmer and it's a lot of very bold colors with not a whole lot of lighter colors that you can mix in. And with a palette this big, I wanna be able to create a cohesive look from it. If it's a smaller palette, I'm fine subbing in other palettes for neutrals or whatever I need to. But when it's a huge palette, I wanna be able to create a cohesive look and I feel like you can't with this. It's really beautiful, it really, really is, but I did pass on this and I'm gonna to continue to pass on it. Okay, it looks like BH Cosmetics has expanded their travel series. There is Passion in Paradise 16 color shadow palette for 17, Party in Puerto Rico 16 color shadow palette for 17, and Tanned into Loom 6 color bronzer and highlighter palette. All this, So these are $17 each. They're available now. I'm not gonna be getting any of these. I, I just, I don't know what I'm looking for. I want a brand to wow me. And while there have been some things like that Patrick Ta palette or the ColourPop palette that I've been interested in, none of them have made me like salivate. I feel like the last thing that really did that, that really made me salivate instantly was like the Beetlejuice collection from Melt. It was so unique and so different and there were different products in there. It just, it really got me going, you know what I mean? And yes, I've brought other products since then. I'm not saying I haven't bought anything since that, but I just want something to wow me and this just, this is putting me to sleep. I'm bored. Maybe I'm just a cynical bitch. Okay, here is one I do want and I do blame Kate the Great Beauty for this. Pharmacy has come out with the Honey Glow Body. So they have the Honey Glow for the face. This one is for the body. It's a 12% AHA and BHA resurfacing serum. And you're supposed to be able to put that, I mean, obviously on your body, it's called body, but that's really good for the neck and chest because I'll be honest, I do like the Honeymoon Glow a lot, but I usually just keep that to my face and my neck too, actually. But something for the rest of me, I would not complain. This is available now and it's $40, which is a little hefty for, what is this, 4.7 fluid ounces. But I have never tried a pharmacy product I have not absolutely loved. So I think I might give this one a chance. So I think that's it for now. Let me know what releases you all are super excited about. I'm hoping something comes out that blows us away. I feel like I say that in every Will I Buy It, but there are things in here that I thought were really cool looking and that I might be interested in, but for the most part, this is an anti-haul. Again, me telling you about all the shit I'm not gonna buy. Thank you all so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, I would love if you'd give it a thumbs up. And again, tell me down below what things that you're gonna be purchasing or what you already have purchased recently. Tell me all the details I wanna know. You all can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Those are all Glitter Fallout. And as always, and forever, you, you are super freaking rock stars. And I love you so much with my whole heart. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.